So today I want to show you one of the best bits of tech that we've actually ever had on this channel. This is the XJimmy Full HD projector. It's got a six second startup. It's blazingly fast. It runs on Android 10. It's got some very unique features which I haven't seen on any of the projectors before. I will say now that Netflix does work on this. A lot of other projectors and even say other Android boxes can't actually run Netflix, but I'll show you this working on here. If you've been following my Twitter as well, I've been releasing a little bit of footage of this and you've all been absolutely blown away by it. So we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna go through the startup process and then we're gonna go through the features of the actual box itself and some of the extraordinary features which it does have, which you'll be like, mind blown. How come other companies haven't implemented this in theirs or other tech? in the past because it's just absolutely brilliant. So I look forward to showing you this XJimmy Full HD projector. Look at it, absolutely beautiful. So well designed. Now, as I just mentioned, this projector is absolutely stunning. It's so well designed and made and it's gonna look absolutely fantastic wherever it's gonna be in your household. As you can see on the front, this actually looks metal, but it is actually plastic around here. So as you can see on the front, we do have the lens and a beautiful matte black top as well. Across here, you have all your different functions for the volume up and down, the play and the very quick start button at the back here. You can see on the front here we have the lens and this is just the sensor which will come into play very, very shortly. And this sensor brings in some very, very unique features to the XJimmy Full HD Horizon. Honestly, you'll be blown away by this when, when we show you it in just a mo. Moving around to the side, as you can see here, we actually have Harman Kardon dual eight watt speakers, which give some brilliant sound, which I'll be showing you in just a moment as well. Don't worry, we are gonna go into everything and all the links for this product is gonna be down in the description below as well. So if you wanna see even further specifications, then just head down to the description. On the back here, here you can see we have audio, we have LAN, we have USBs and we have HDMIs as well. So you've got plenty of ports to stick absolutely everything in. So we're gonna start this up now. I'm gonna show you some of the fantastic features which Android 10 brings and also the inbuilt XJimmy features in this projector using that sensor. Absolute fantastic. So what we're gonna do first is just turn on the XJimmy projector. Boop, there we go display off, display on, and that's how quick it is by actually, once you've turned it on and it goes into standby mode, clicking it on, you're gonna get this display straight away. Now I've tried to put this in to context of like how big the screen is. I'm gonna walk over there. It is absolutely massive. And obviously if you have a screen up behind it, this is just on a wall at the moment and it's giving such a clear picture. Remember this is native 1080p. Anyway, we want to go through some of the absolute fantastic features. Now on the remote control, there is a button at the bottom on the uh, metal part of the remote control. And if we just press that once, it's actually just going to autofocus everything again. There we go, absolutely fantastic. So, so easy to do. But we can also go into the menu and it's gonna give us loads more features. What we do first though, is I'm gonna fully power this off and then what you'll see upon startup of the projector, it's gonna go into auto correction, auto focus mode. So we're just gonna boot it up again here we go, and there you go, automatically. Now this can be turned on or off, but it will give you that perfect picture straight away. Now some of the other fantastic features, there's honestly, you will love some of these. So if we go down into projector settings and we go down onto keystone correction, we can go automatic keystone correction, and what it will do is blast up an image like that, and it will try and figure out the best viewing angle for you right now. So as you can see, it automatically did this. Now you can just tweak the little areas if you want or just leave it as is. But what we'll just do, we're just gonna make it even bigger. Absolutely massive. So we're gonna go like that, gonna go like that. And we just need to go up in that corner. And we also have screen zoom as well. This is a digital zoom. So we can go out and we can go in so we can make it even smaller. 
as big or as small as you want. So we're gonna come all the way back out again and get that full image. Now we're at about 2.5 meters away from the wall at the moment. It, it is just a painted wall in Magnolia, but it's giving that crystal clear picture. What I will be doing in a moment is opening up my blinds and giving you a look into actually how it looks whilst in daylight as well, because we are in the middle of the day. One thing that I will just go through before we move on, and that is obviously Netflix. Click on Netflix and it's gonna work. So Netflix normally doesn't natively work on um, these Android projectors and or boxes. But as you can see here, we are working all good. I'm just gonna go into whatever this is, trending now. I won't say that word on here because it might might even get uh, get get flagged. But there we go. That is working fine. And so all you need to do is download Desktop Manager from the Google Play Store. Delete the application that is actually already on the projector which syncs up with your Google account. So it installs any applications which are already on your Google account. Delete that one and then just install Netflix there and then you'll be good to go. It is all working. Absolutely fantastic. So we can go into some, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you a couple more features, fantastic features of the Xjimmy HD projector. So if we go down to projector settings, we, we've done keystone correction, brightness as well. So you can do environmental adaption. You can do the focus settings. So autofocus on startup and remember autofocus on motion as well. So I'm just going to knock the projector. So I knocked it and now it's gone into autofocus upon motion as well. Absolutely fantastic, brilliant idea by Xjimmy. Projector placement, remember, front ceiling, rear, rear ceiling, auto, auto vertical flip. And um, obviously we can go into others and this is where you can even uh, connect any game controllers as well. We've got the control settings, gyro calibration, focus calibration and keystone calibration as well. So if we go into the keystone correction, remember that is where your screen zoom is, a manual keystone correction, which we've already been into, and auto keystone correction, which just enables you to just let the XJimmy do its job. But I'm gonna show you a fantastic feature right now. I'm gonna stand in front of the projector, and then I'm gonna go into keystone correction, and then see what it does. So that does have obstacle avoidance, which is absolutely fantastic. So if something is in the way, it will automatically project your screen onto a different area of the wall to remove that element of the obstacle, whatever's in its way. So what we'll look at now, remember you can see these are already installed because it's synced with my Google Play account. We can go into a little game, this one's called Reaper. So you can just see what some of the graphics are like actually on a huge screen. So we just go to start, click all through that. It's not a very intensive game, but I'm just showing you that games work excellent on here with zero latency. We can go to a bit of a retro game right now. Uh, Sky Force, I think it was. Remember, it needs a gamepad, controller. I don't have one. I'm just currently using the remote control at the moment. Yes, I'm going to allow that because we allow everything. <laughs> I'm just showing you on here that the games do work and they do work well. Obviously, you're going to need a, uh, a gamepad controller. YouTube, absolutely fine. We'll just have a look at one of the uh, legendary videos done by moi. And uh, if we go over, we go down to my library, we go across, we go down, we go videos. Boom, there we go. Straight into one of the videos. And you can see that, so although it's native, let me just turn the volume down. It's native 1080p. Obviously, it will and does support 
any other content up to 4K. So you can see the clarity of the images, the brights, the darks, the midtones, absolutely fantastic. And it is very sharp and crisp. That is what you're getting with the X-Jimmy. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna turn up the volume and so you can listen to the speakers. Synced codes of August 2021. Now, the reason why I've left this till this point in the month is because we've got more and more codes coming online every single day. The amount of stores going on file syncs right now is... The speakers on here are absolutely fantastic. And the problem is I can't actually play any other normal music because obviously it's going to be copyrighted against it but this is absolutely fantastic so so good remember we've got the full store of google play so you've got your music google play games your prime video your youtube your tes absolutely everything remember this is running on android 10 so you're gonna get all those features everything that you get with android as default like it was on your phone but instead you're gonna have it on a 130 inch screen right now now remember as i did say before this is only about two and a half meters away from the wall and you're getting that massive image so that was it that's the h jimmy projector the horizon the links are going to be down in the description below and i will just add on an ending note that you do also get plenty of storage in here so if we go down to device preferences and we go down to storage you are getting 24 gigabyte of usable memory right there you do also get comb cross which is also built in and if we go to about as well you are also getting you can see version 10 the model xk03h temperature and if there are any system updates it will just check for updates you can set this to automatic or just do it manually i did do an update as you can see last check for update is complete there is no other updates on here because i did update it the other day so that's it the x jimmy horizon absolute fantastic projector i really do hope you like the video if you've got any more questions about it please don't hesitate to comment down in the description below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can.